All right, well, good morning, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Rob's West Virginia Bass Fishing. And this morning, I'm up here in uh, Point Pleasant, West Virginia, at Crowdell Lake at uh, Crowdell Park in Mason County. And uh, getting kind of a late start this morning. It's already 8 o'clock, but uh, I was going to go to McClinic, uh, the McClinic Wildlife Management Area, and but I looked at three of the lakes I like to put this boat in, and uh, there wasn't no getting in there. It was too growed up, brush and weed and stuff, so I had to come back here. So uh, about 63 degrees out here this morning. According to my little hummingbird here, we got 71 degree water temps. And uh, we'll try a little bit of top water this morning. We got a whopper plopper tied on, buzz bait, strike king sexy dog. And uh, hopefully we can get on, a, get on us a fall top water bite this morning. We'll start with the whopper plopper first. That's usually about the only top water bait I can get any, any bites on in this lake. Don't know why, it's just it's always the way it's been. Uh, hung up on leaf on the first cast. Let me know it. Uh, you'll have that in the fall. Right, try this again. Got one. It doesn't come off. Yes, got one on the buzz bait, people. Woo! All right. On the Strike King uh, Bleeding Elite Buzz Bait, white. Skunks out of the boat. That's the first bass I've ever caught in this lake on a buzz bait. Usually, I can only get them to hit a whopper plopper, but got, got one on a buzz bait. 11 inches long. All right. Not a bad way to start the morning. For fall top water buzz bait fishing here at Crowdell Lake. I'll go ahead and turn this loose. All right. Well, that was an encouraging sign. Been a while since I've caught one on a buzz bait, so I'm gonna keep throwing it down this riprap and see what happens. Maybe we can pick up another fish or two. Got one, if it doesn't come off. This is a little bit better fish, I think. Yeah. Number two on the buzz bait, folks. All right.
<sighs> Nothing like a buzz bait in the fall. I don't think this one's gonna be 12 inches. It might be. Yeah, it is. 12 and an eighth. No, yeah, 12 and an eighth inches. I'm gonna go ahead and measure this. Or weigh it, I should say. Fifteen ounces. Almost a pound. Alright, we'll go ahead and turn this little dude loose. Alright. Finally got got a keeper. Fish number two this morning, going back into Crowdale Lake. Oh, man, one just sucked it under. Dad, go on. I might have to put a trailer hook on this thing, I think. Find something to take the trailer hook off of. Alright. Trailer hook going on because I just had a fish take it under and didn't hook up. So, Strike King Tour Grade trailer hook. So, hopefully, we don't get any more short strikes now. Oh, come off that, going it. Uh. Trailer hook's not helping me. Oh, I hope this one stays on. Ha -ha. Number three on the buzz bait. I think both hooks got him. Yep. All right. He's got it with both hooks. He wasn't getting off. That's number three on the buzz bait this morning. Mmm. Stop it. They're liking this old Strike King buzz bait this morning. Ouch. 
hope myself I ain't careful. Boy, he has got it. Ain't good. All right, there we go. Got it. This is a keeper, but I like catching them on both these. Eleven and a half inches. Turn this one loose. Third bass of the morning on that Strike King buzz bait here at Crowdell Lake. Oh, I got one. This is a better fish. Motor off. one on a square bill this time mm. yeah he won that kvd 2.5 square billing in the fall Front hook got him, back hook got him. Yeah, he ate it, he got it pretty good. This is the best fish I've caught today so far. I get pliers. Gizzard Shad colored KBD 2.5 from Strike King. All right. Now. Mm. Thirteen inches. Fourth fish of the day. Fifteen ounces. All right, we'll go ahead and get this one turned loose. Buzz baits and square bills in the fall. They go together like peanut butter and jelly. All right, here it goes back in the Codell Lake. <laughs> oh gosh you gotta be kidding me <laughs> well there's the fifth bass of the day that little thing took a swipe at this great big 2.0 crankbait he hit it good just didn't have any business hitting something that big
I went to a bigger bait trying to get a bigger bite and I'm still catching small ones. But that's the second fish on this square bill. A gizzard shad colored Strike King KBD 2.5. thing is only eight and three quarter inches long all right here it goes back in the lake Fish of the day right here. Come here. Ah, oh, don't you do it. He ain't going nowhere. Whoa! Come here. Ooh, the front hook fell out. Oh, boy, I was lucky. Oh, man. Fish of the day right here. The cold front's already went through. Oh, my. Uh, on the Strike King KBD square bill again. Third fish on it. This is my sixth fish today. I love that fall square bill fishing. Man, I almost didn't get that fish in. Two pounds, five ounces. Fish of the day. All right. Let's get his, get this thing turned loose. See, I knew this lake had some good fish in it. All right. 
Here we go. Get in here. That's fish number seven. On the square bill again. Boy, he got by the front hook. They're eating that square bill today. Wind's blowing me in the back. I'm just gonna leave the boat here at the bank because I can't control it right now. But yeah, got by the front hook. On the cast right after I just turn that two and a quarter pounder loose. And I get another one on this square bill. See what we got here now. Probably about 11 inches. Eleven and five eighths. Okay, let's go ahead and turn this one loose. Seventh bass of the day here at Codell Lake. All right, well, folks, I think I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this video up now. It's uh, 20 after three, and uh, I got down here and to Crowdell Lake and started fishing this morning about eight o'clock. Fished till about 2:30. Um, man, the wind got bad out here after the front went through. And uh, so I couldn't even make it back to the other end of the lake where the ramp's at. I had to beach my John boat here behind me and uh, walk to the other end of the lake, go get my Tahoe and load up down here. But um, it was a pretty good day though, uh, actually. I caught seven bass, including the first bass I ever caught on a buzz bait in this lake. I've had them hit it before, but not been able to hook them. Matter of fact, the only top water I've ever been able to do any good with at this lake was a whopper plopper but uh i caught three bass this morning uh on this uh three eighths ounce uh strike king bleeding elite buzz bait uh it's white and got the red strands in the skirt red hook and uh also put a strike king tour grade trailer hook on there on the back of it because it helped catch that third fish that i caught on this lure um so yeah uh Three on the buzz bait, and uh, I was fishing this buzz bait on my lose uh, Hank Parker Signature Series rod. It's a uh, seven foot medium heavy action with a fast tip, and uh, got it paired with a lose reactor reel. It's a 7.5 to 1 gear ratio. Uh, I have it spooled with a 14 pound test uh, Vicious Pro Elite fluorocarbon. So uh, that was the uh, setup I caught my uh, three bass on the buzz bait. And then uh, went to a square bill after that. And uh, like I like to do this time of year in the early fall, um, 
put on a uh, bigger square bill than I normally use. Uh, this is a gizzard shad colored uh, Strike King KBD 2.5. And I uh, caught four bass on, uh, on this uh, square bill, uh, including uh, the biggest one of the day. It was uh, just under 17 inches, 16 and 7 eighths. And it uh, weighed uh, two pounds and five ounces and caught it over there along that far shoreline where the, where the riprap is. Matter of fact, everything I caught today was uh, off of riprap, you know, whether it was the buzz bait or this uh, square bill, 2.5. And uh, I was fishing this uh, square bill on my Lose Mach 1 combo. Um, it's a seven foot medium heavy action with a fast tip. Uh, got it paired with a Mach 1 reel also from Lou's and a 17 pound test uh, vicious pro elite fluorocarbon and uh, so that was pretty much my day um, I did uh, let's see yeah seven fish uh, caught the last two just after the sun popped out as the front went through but uh, man after the sun popped out in a little while everything died I couldn't get a bite on anything so but I was glad to catch what I did today and uh, so I uh, I'm hoping everybody likes this video. Like I said, if you're new to the channel, I'd appreciate it if you could give it a like, subscribe, uh, hit the notification bell, and uh, let me know what you think in the comments. And uh, I'll try to get out and get another video done as soon as I can. And I really appreciate everybody watching.